Okay, I'm going to show you one more example um, with using rationalize the denominator in these simple examples. Okay, so one that looks something like this. Uh, say you had to rationalize, rationalize the denominator for this. Then we're still going to use the same old trick. Uh, we're going to multiply this by 1. Okay, I'm going to choose what the 1 is going to look like okay, to best simplify this. So the way to do it is to multiply by root 5 over root 5. Okay? Now you could potentially deal with uh, multiplying this by 3 root 5 over 3 root 5. Okay? You could do that, but it will just make more cancellations for you. Okay, so we'll make more problems for you. Um, remember, this is a non-calculator trick. So anything that's going to simplify the numerical side for you, the better. So we're going to get two, 12 times root 5 over 3 root 5 times root 5. Okay, now let's just make sure we're happy with this. 3 root 5 times root 5. So this is 3 lots of root 5 times root 5, which is the same as 3 times 5. So this is 12 root 5 over 15. That 3 root 5 times root 5 is 15. Now, you can simplify that fraction down 12 over 15, okay? Both are divisible by 3, so you get 4 root 5 over 5. Okay. Now, one other thing that I should probably point out is that depending on how you want to write it, you can write this as four fifths root five. Okay. These two are the same thing, and it doesn't matter in which way round you write them, and it's really up to you which you find the easiest to work with. Okay. There are. Um, somewhat drawbacks to both of them, okay, or positives to both of them as well, but it's really up to you. My personal preference is probably this one, okay, just so I can see exactly what fraction of the third that I have, okay, but it's really up to you.